Hi, welcome to Professional Certifications Channel. Let's break down RHI exam preparation, one topic a day for focused and effective learning. Today's topic is Case Mix Index CMI in healthcare. 1. What is Case Mix Index CMI? Let's start with the basics what exactly is Case Mix Index, or CMI? The Case Mix Index is a measure that reflects the diversity, clinical complexity, and resource needs of the patient population treated at a healthcare facility. Essentially, it's an indicator of the average severity of cases treated at the hospital or healthcare provider. The CMI is calculated using the relative weights assigned to each diagnosis-related group, or DRG, for patients discharged during a specific period. DRGs are used to classify patients into groups based on their diagnoses, procedures, age, sex, discharge status, and other factors. Each DRG has an associated weight that indicates the expected resource usage for that type of case. In simple terms, a higher CMI means the hospital is treating more complex or severe cases that require more resources, while a lower CMI indicates less complex cases. 2. How is CMI calculated? Now that we know what CMI is, let's talk about how it's calculated. The CMI is determined by the following steps. 1. Assigning DRGs. First, every inpatient discharge is assigned a DRG based on the patient's primary diagnosis, procedures performed, and other relevant factors. Each DRG has a relative weight assigned by Medicare, reflecting the average resources required for that case. 2. Summing the DRG weights. Next, the relative weights of all DRGs for discharges during a specific period are summed up. This total gives an idea of the total resources used for the patient population. 3. Calculating the CMI. Finally, the CMI is calculated by dividing the total DRG weight by the total number of discharges. The formula looks like this. CMI equals sum of DRG weights forward slash total number of discharges. This gives us the average DRG weight, which is the CMI. For example, if a hospital has a total DRG weight of 5,000 for 1,000 discharges, the CMI would be 5.0. This indicates that, on average, the cases treated at this hospital are relatively complex and resource-intensive. 3. Why is CMI important in healthcare? So, why does CMI matter? The case mix index is a crucial metric for several reasons. Financial reimbursement, CMI directly impacts a hospital's reimbursement from Medicare and other insurance payers. A higher CMI usually leads to higher reimbursement rates because it indicates that the hospital is treating more complex and resource-intensive cases, which cost more to manage. Operational efficiency, understanding CMI helps hospitals and healthcare providers optimize resource allocation. By knowing the complexity of the cases they handle, they can better manage staffing, equipment, and other resources to meet patient needs efficiently. Quality of care, a higher CMI often correlates with more specialized and intensive care. Tracking CMI helps healthcare organizations assess the level of care they're providing and identify areas where they may need to enhance services or invest in additional resources. Benchmarking and comparison, CMI is also used for benchmarking and comparing the performance of different hospitals or departments. By comparing CMI, healthcare administrators can identify trends, understand their position relative to other institutions, and make data-driven decisions to improve operations. Strategic planning, CMI plays a key role in strategic planning. Hospitals use CMI data to make decisions about expanding services investing in new technologies, or even opening new departments. A higher CMI may justify the need for more specialized services or facilities. 4. Challenges and Considerations in Managing CMI While CMI is an important metric, managing and interpreting it comes with challenges. Here are some considerations. Coding Accuracy Accurate coding is essential for calculating CMI. If coding is inaccurate or incomplete, it can lead to an incorrect CMI, which in turn can affect reimbursement, resource allocation, and overall financial performance. Regular audits and coder training are critical to ensuring coding accuracy. 
case mix variability. CMI can fluctuate based on the types of patients admitted during a specific period. For instance, if a hospital experiences a sudden influx of less complex cases, the CMI may temporarily decrease. It's important to consider these fluctuations when analyzing CMI trends. Documentation Thorough and accurate documentation by healthcare providers is vital for supporting the coding process and ensuring that the correct DRG is assigned. Incomplete documentation can lead to undercoding, which might result in a lower CMI and reduced reimbursement. Comparisons across institutions When comparing CMI across different institutions, it's important to consider the context. A hospital specializing in complex surgeries or tertiary care will naturally have a higher CMI than a community hospital focusing on routine care. Contextual factors should always be considered when interpreting CMI data. Conclusion In conclusion, the Case Mix Index is a powerful metric that provides insight into the complexity and resource needs of the patient population at a healthcare facility. It plays a critical role in financial reimbursement, operational efficiency, and strategic planning. By understanding and managing CMI effectively, healthcare organizations can ensure they are providing the right level of care while optimizing their resources.